Sneak choose slash a radio. <laughs> What's up, guys? Bones here from Slasher Radio. I know I'm a little late on this, but I wanted to start doing reaction videos on the channel. We just got partnered, so obviously we're trying to get more content on here. And as much as, you know, you guys are used to Dead by Daylight on the channel, we're a horror platform in general. So reaction videos to horror movies, breaking down my thoughts on it, things like that is something that you will be able to to see coming more often on here. So Imaginary 2024, this is a Blumhouse film, Lionsgate. Blumhouse is, in my opinion, the top production company in horror today. And for all the Dead by Daylight fans, you can check out the interview that we did with Ryan Turek right here. He details the Dead by Daylight movie that they are working on. We also have a couple of videos of Matthew Cote detailing it. You can check them out here as well. Anyway, Blumhouse, when Imaginary was announced, I was super excited. I am a huge fan of Chucky. I am a huge fan of Benny Loves You. Benny Loves You. And this looked like and was kind of marketed, not that we've seen too much, towards, hey, this is a killer teddy bear movie. I have not watched the trailer yet, but I did see bits and pieces on Twitter. It very much does not look like that. The movie is out now. So if you've seen it, put what you think of it in the comments below. But again, I was going, I even did a, an episode of Cult FM with Allie where we were talking about upcoming movies in 2024 earlier this year. And this was mentioned, and I was super, we were both super excited about it. The trailer came out. It does not look like a killer teddy bear movie, but let's see what they got to offer. Every culture Five Nights of Freddy's and Megan. Them. I'm mad at that. How does it feel being back? Good. I had such good memories here. Maybe my happy place can be our happy place. I left you all alone down here. It was just my magic. Lionsgate, Blumhouse, good signs. The scavenger hunt list, that's fun. Chauncey says you're not allowed to play with us. Oh. Because you like mm. something happy. Something happy. Good setup Ooh. here for a killer bear what movie, man. Know? If I can finish my list, Chauncey will take me on a trip to the place he's from. Something that hurts. Alice? Oh, fuck. No, no. See? Oh, shit. You've been spending time with him. Eight class, I think that was. All Blumhouse movies. Black phone phenomenal. That was part of the game. That looks great. Does that seem like a game a good friend would want to play? Maybe we shouldn't play together anymore, Chauncey. Maybe we shouldn't be friends. No, 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 no. Mm. Alice? 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 She's lost. But we're gonna find her. Every culture has entities that tether to the young. We call them imaginary friends. You are always playing with your imaginary friend. When the connection is severed, the entity becomes enraged. See. He says he's right behind you. Okay, that's creepy. Can I hang out with your imaginary friend? He's not imaginary. He's not your friend. Oh, fuck no. Uh uh. Oh, God damn. Okay. All right. Okay, see, dude, they they had a perfect setup, perfect. Oh, you could have texted a number, uh, uh, thing to the. I like when they do that. Scream did that very well. Uh, Chucky as well with the TV series. Uh, man, they had such a good setup here for a killer bear movie, like a killer uh, teddy bear movie. It'd have been perfect 
it seems like they went the paranormal route. It it does look like maybe the bear is possessed. And uh, we talked about it on Slasher Radio recently, and Rob had seen it, and he had talked to somebody he knows about it, that girl he picked up in Orlando. And her description of this movie was, it's insidious, but bad insidious. First of all, there is no good insidious. Insidious is terrible. If you like insidious, let me know in the comments because we got to talk about it. But that's not what they had something with that killer teddy bear thing. And we've seen in a movie like Ben in movies like Benny Loves You and Chucky, if done correctly, you've got something there. Like you can really merch and everything else. You could be very successful going that route. And it looked like they were mixing in a darker tone of it. The performances look really good. The little girl in the movie, you know, sometimes you get a child actor and they're not the best actor in the world. And that that is known to take me out of it a little bit. I've talked about that a little bit with Andy early on with Chucky. Not the best acting in the world there, but the movie was still great because you can get around it. But when the child actor can really bring you into the movie, that's when you're able to set a lot of tones that you need to set. It's not easy with a, a killer, you know, sentient toy movie got to make it scary to some degree i'm still gonna see it i'm not as excited about it i do not like the insidious franchise i do i despise the conjuring franchise and that's what it looks like this is going down the route of but if they can do things correctly they had a lot of stuff in there man the the nail on the the board the bear or this uh this entity spirit whatever is telling this girl to do things to harm herself. That's a hell of a story that you could tell there. And there's a lot of shit you can do. I just don't know if it'll be enough to, to overcome the, it, it, it's hard to paranormal movies are very hit or miss and you have different routes. You can go with them. You have stuff like the exorcist and the exorcist believer that came out recently. I'll even throw in their paranormal activity some of the Amityville movies where they keep it closer to that traditional paranormal hauntings where it starts off slow and you build, but then you have movies like the insidious franchise and the conjuring franchise where they're swinging open the gates of hell five minutes into the movie sometimes. And it takes me out of it. The scariest part of paranormal movies to me and to a lot of people, that's why Some people find The Exorcist boring. Some people think it's the scariest thing they've ever seen. It's because, you know, paranormal activity as well. We argue about this on Slasher Radio all the time. To me, it's scary because that shit, I believe, is real. And the way they do it is in a real fashion. You know, when people talk about hauntings and and the paranormal in reality, like in real life, it's little things. It's, oh, I seen this, and the, this light went on, and, and this moved, and that wasn't there. And that's how you start setting that fear and that uneasiness in your everyday life. And then it starts really digging its claws into you, and it gets worse and worse, and it progresses. That's scary to me because that's real, and that's how those type of things usually go. When you just start getting unbelievable, and that's when you get into the conjuring stuff with the jump scares and... And that's really all the movie is. You're not really scared of it, but you can be impressed by certain things. The blood on the wall, the names that we see in the trailer, that was really good. Like that looked creepy. That looked eerie. That looks, there's a child involved and this, this entity is digging into them. And I feel like it can still be a good movie. If they get carried away, the paranormal aspect, it's not going to be the one for me. It's just not. But like I said, this movie's out now. When I do see it, I'll post another video of my thoughts on it and all that stuff. I don't know when that's going to be. When (laughs) We watch movies every week for Slasher Radio, usually. So by the time I'm done watching that movie, Allie has a movie night in the Discord. We we haven't in a while, but Slasher Radio, we have in hours. There's a lot of movie watching going on. For me to sit and watch a movie after having to watch movies, and, you know, for Colt FM, we watch a movie sometimes. It's rare I get to enjoy a movie (laughs) like like actually sit and enjoy watching the movie for no reason like for something i don't have to work on so it it takes me a while to get to them sometimes 
I'm going to try and get to this one sooner than later. I'll let you guys know. But let me know in the comments if you've seen it already. Like I said, it's out. If you haven't seen it already, let me know if you're looking forward to seeing it. If you agree with what I say, I say it all the time. The horror is the best genre because of the passion of the fans. That debate and that conversation is my favorite part. So let me know what you guys think in the comments about the trailer, about the movie. If you're excited to see it, do you think it's going to be good? Do you think they're going to get carried away? Let me know. And like I said, there's a lot of Blumhouse content on here. So if you're not maybe familiar with Blumhouse and you're a newer fan to the genre, we have a lot of interviews with a lot of people that can really be informative for you if you haven't seen this yet and you want to go in with a little bit of information. So check it out next time, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Good night from Slasher Radio.